Hey folks, thank you for joining us here on the Thread Raiders Twitch channel for all sorts of charity goodness, whether it's Action Against Hunger, Extra Life. Um, we're always working on charity events here. And um, so with that, we have lots of games and all that good stuff. And we have breaks and we got to fill those breaks. So why not filling those breaks with some wonderful people and getting to know them a bit better because thread raiders are awesome and you should get to know them so i'm your host maddie aka so many games and i'm here with at no tweet sean or sean sean how you doing pretty good how are you doing i am doing fantastic um so i like to start these off with the same question and so in your own words what is a thread raider? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so from what I've come to know, a thread, all the thread raiders that, that I've met are embodied by the sense of family, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, all these different people from different backgrounds are all people. So if I were to say, what's a thread raider in like one word, we're people, real people. Okay. I love <laughs> I love that answer. That's fantastic. I I've heard a lot of answers to that question. That is that's beautiful. That's beautiful, Sean. Um, so Sean, what is your day job? Um, well, that's an interesting way to ask that question. I don't have a day job. I work okay. at night, uh, <laughs> but I am a uh, I'm an ICU nurse uh, in Houston, Texas, and wow. I work. At okay that's awesome i um my husband mark's a nurse and we have a lot of nurses in the family and um and some of them specialize in icu also so that's fantastic now my husband my husband went crazy he's hospice so All right i don't know how he does it but i I have so much respect for nurses, so I thank you for the job that you do because it's the it's like the most it, it is the most important job at a hospital, I believe. But I know I speak for a lot of nurses when I say it is indeed our pleasure to do it. We're happy to do it. Love that. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it because it's not easy. <laughs> I am, I am so. That's funny because I didn't know this about you, but like. I am not surprised that you're a nurse because you just are, you're a fantastic person. You have big heart and uh, it, it takes a lot of that to be a nurse. So I, uh, not surprised one bit. That's awesome. Um, so we all met through Twitter, uh, through the tabletop gaming community in, you know, generally, um, so can you tell us your introduction to tabletop role-playing games? Oh, wow. Okay. So rewind about 10 years. Okay. Um, so I was uh, going to Texas A&M University, and okay. I joined an all-male uh, glee club uh, that travels around the world, um, introducing just basically the school's culture to everyone and great music. Um, plus all the choir nerds get together, so it's great. Uh, <laughs> but there were a few, like probably... Mm, eight or nine guys in that group. And it's a group at the time that was about 60 guys. Okay. They were especially nerdy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't nerding out about quite the same things that they were, but I was interested. And uh, all they would talk about was D and D and like their different adventures that they had. And I was like, wow, these guys are like serious dorks. Like what's going on here. And I didn't know anything about D and D or tabletop role playing at all. Oh, okay. And so I was like, so what is it like? A, I, same questions I get all the time. So it's like a board game, right? And right. like, you know, you have to play it in person. Like, do you have to have pieces? You know, things like that. Uh, and they're like, no, 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 no. Just, just stop, stop. Come and watch a game and you'll get it. Right. So I came, watched them play a game for like four or five hours. And I was enthralled. I was just like, wow, this is amazing. This like combines so many things that like games that I've played before had never put together. Like lots of theatrics, lots of 
role playing, lots of imagination, lots of team stuff, uh, yeah. you know, working toward a goal. And it's like, if you don't have the right people, it can kind of like fumble. Like, and if, if you do have the right people, it's great. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a team building exercise, but like way, way, way better. <laughs> And so uh, I got into a game, like a little mini game that summer uh, that was fourth edition D&D. Okay. Uh, I played that for six years um, along with Pathfinder. Oh, and okay. So a lot of like crunchy, crunchy game. Lots of crunch, yeah. Uh, but I played with, um, sorry, my cat's like <laughs> right now. Um, but I got into a lot of crunchy games with people that liked RP. And so I was like, Role playing, but it was a little here or there um, with how heavy it was. And then I got introduced to fifth edition online. Um, I actually like, so the reason my account's called No Tweet Sean is because I only got on Twitter because my wife was on Twitter and I wanted to see what she was doing because I'm nosy. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to tweet from this account. So No Tweet Sean is going to be it. Like, just so people know when they see my handle that you're following someone that's not going to tweet anything right that changed um <laughs> so i got introduced to like online role playing through yeah. some of those guys as we you know left college um and couldn't you know be close together because texas is enormous um texas and so we're like enormous, yeah. we can play on world 20 and i'm like what's that <laughs> <laughs> like oh well, we can play online and talk to each other and everything and i'm like that sounds great because when I moved to Houston, I didn't have that many friends. I kind of like got like severely depressed because yeah. I'm an extrovert. Uh, and I'm like, if I get cut off from people, I'm like, <laughs> like all my energy gets sapped. Yeah. Um, and so I, uh, I started on online, uh, met a lot of people through Twitter, played more online games, um, and then got to know the Fred Raiders through Twitter. And uh, it was magic from there. <laughs> Magic is a good a good word for it. It it really is. It's a phenomenal community that will change your life. That's for sure. Um, so we're gonna do our first rapid fire segment here, and this one is an either or. So I'm going to name two things, and I need you to pick just one. Um, you can say none. But you can't say both. That's both isn't uh, no. <laughs> so um, and so in true Threadrunner fashion, the first one is pizza or tacos. Pizza. Okay. Video games or board games. Board games. Coke or Pepsi. Coke. Winter or summer. Summer. Game of Thrones or Stranger Things? Game of Thrones. Okay. okay. Uh, Marvel or DC? DC. DC. Rock or hip hop? Mm, I'm going to go rock. Okay. Spicy or mild? Spicy. Okay. He's a Texan. <laughs> uh, texting or talking? Ooh, really depends on who it is, but I'll go with talking. Okay. Uh, invisibility or super strength? I do too many bad things with invisibility. Be too let's let's go with strength. Go with <laughs> that's that's an honest answer. I appreciate it. Uh, Thanks, sir. Cake or pie? Pie. Okay. And finally, cats or dogs? I'm going to go with cats. Okay. Good answer. Um, <laughs> they're all good answers oh, for the I most hear. part. <laughs> you know, except for Coke. That's never a good answer. But no, I'm just <laughs> um, So uh, we talk about gaming and whatnot, and that's kind of how we all got together. Uh, but outside of gaming, what are your hobbies? Ooh, Okay. Um, well, a lot of my hobbies kind of revolve around stuff that I do with gaming, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of them predate my like serious gamer phase. Um, so hobbies would include obviously singing, yep. um, lots of like charity work. That's why I love Thread Raiders, love volunteering. It's 
awesome. Love helping. Love like making people's lives better. It's really the only thing worth doing half the time. Like never anything more rewarding. Um, what else? Uh, so let's see. Uh, voice acting. Love it. Love it. Trying to get into it deeper. It's hard to find the time and the like studio time is really hard to come by, but it's, yeah. it's a bit closer. So, um, that's always fun. Good. What else? Uh, this is going to sound weird. I'm somewhat of a beer snob because Houston is just like full of like breweries. Yeah. So the past hmm, probably like five years, um, I've like just enjoyed trying different kinds of beer and like different like uh, spirits and just all sorts of different things and gotten into like wine and different things. Just more as like a social avenue, but also yeah. it's just fun to try different things, see what they do with it. Um, um yeah i can definitely appreciate that i i got into wine myself for a while there and um i don't know beer's fine it just gosh you you, you feel you get full really fast and you're peeing yeah. all the time it's just when you get to be my age like forget it you know <laughs> you're all right yeah. i stick to trying try stuff don't drink a bunch of it right because otherwise i'm like right Ugh. right don't drink a bunch that's that's the ticket yeah <laughs> it's hard or better easier said than done right? easier said than done <laughs> um so in the thread raiders we talk about food a lot it is definitely just always on our minds um so with that in mind if you had to choose a last meal what would that be Hmm. Last meal. Okay. Do I? Can I just put anything in it? Anything. Yeah. This is your final meal, man. I can do this. <laughs> okay. We go with smoked pork loin marsala. Ooh. And my dad used to make that, and it was oh. Beef lasagna. Okay. Um. I'm going to go with chopped barbecue salad. Okay. And mm, ribs. Pork ribs. Yeah. Well, it's got to be the pork ribs. <laughs> I I mean, sh you know, beef ribs are fine, you know, if they're done right, but they're never done right. So, you know. And, God, pork ribs are so good, though. <laughs> See, this is why Thread Raiders talk about food all the time. Yeah, we just, we can't help it. We can't help it. Um, so this brings us to our next rapid fire. And this one is a word association. So I'm going to say a word and I'm going to have you just say the first word that comes to mind. Okay. okay. Um, so let's start off with a Thread Raider classic, tacos. Ooh, cheese. Cheese. Twitter. Fun. D and D. Great. Puns. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Kilts. Hmm. Interesting. Pizza. Pineapple. Dogs. Cats. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh fur. There you go. Uh pineapple. Mm, pork mayo mustard morning sunshine nighttime fun time thread raiders giving ah good one um so we are talking about your last meal um now if there was a food that you could just literally banned from existence what would it be <laughs> hmm ban a food from existence uh i think my uh I, I, this is something i've tried recently uh, and i'm sorry to disappoint some of my uk friends but uh marmite oh well that's <laughs> fair okay that's just <sighs> <laughs> it's not, I was like, I tried it with an open mind, had some just like, 
Let me try it again. No, no, no. This is terrible. Why is this a staple food? No. <laughs> It, it, it has to be one of those things that I think you have to grow up with to appreciate um, because otherwise you're just eating something that's like, uh, yeah, no. I'm just not cultured enough. I can't do it. <laughs> no, you're American. So that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, yeah, none of us are really like cultured anyway. So it's okay. same, kind of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so we talked about gaming and all that, but, um, what does a typical day off look like for you? Oh, lots of sleeping, okay. uh, <laughs> quite a bit of sleeping. Uh, so if it's the day right after work, lots of sleeping, get up, um, like you, well, okay. I'll come home from work. I'll make breakfast. My wife will leave for work. This is usually on a weekend. Mm -hmm. If she's working late at night, it, it'll be different, but make breakfast. She'll leave. I go to bed. I wake up. She comes home about two hours later. So I kind of like just kind of clean house a little bit, you know, do do some errands, whatever, while she's gone. She comes home. Um, if both of us are off, we uh, usually will go like on a date night. We'll go meet up with some friends. Um, we'll go like uh, hang out and play like golden tea or something, you know, just kind of sit around and talk. Um, if she's gone and I'm off, uh, it'll be reading or trying to catch a game with somebody um mostly hitting up like my discord server and seeing like who needs some stuff done because i'm bored <laughs> and i'm like i have time who needs things <laughs> but uh yeah that's that's a typical day off okay um so that brings us to our final rapid fire and uh, this one is called Name That Thread Raider. So oh okay. I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say a thing and you tell me the Thread Raider that um, like describes that thing the most or, you know, fits that thing the best. OK. okay. All right. So we're going to start off with Biggest Flirt. CA. OK most sensible Ooh, um signer good one um biggest jokester you wow okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm good with that um best smile Ooh. um Niels. yeah uh softest heart Ooh, TK. TK. Yeah. Uh, biggest eater. Ooh, joy. I love it. And finally, quickest wit. Quickest wit. I'm going to go with Dak. Okay. Okay. Dak is, Dak is quick with the, uh, with the comebacks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love you, Scott. Um, so that's, that's, that's our, that's our, that's our chat. Um, so Sean, um, go ahead and tell the folks at home where they can find you on the internet. Um, and, um, if you have any final words for the folks that are, uh, hanging out with, with us here watching. All right. Um, well, my name's Sean Faulkner. Um, my Twitter handle is at no tweet, Sean. Uh, you can hit me up on there any time of day because usually I'm up. <laughs> um, I like, I don't know. You, you can find me all over the place. I'm like, I like to be everywhere. Um, you can see me uh, on variant roles. Um, you can see me on Thread Raiders. Uh, you can hit me up and I'll help uh, with stream production on just about anything you want to do, any personal projects. Uh, if you need someone with a specific talent, I can help find them for you. Um, I am eager to help. Um, but I guess as a final word, uh, especially coming from Thread Raiders, um, if you are struggling, if you're tired, if you're weary, if you feel like you need help, if you're like just feeling down, Hit us up. We care and we will help you out. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, we will. Um, 
Yeah. Fuck. Thank you, Sean. Thank you uh, for thank you for hanging out and for uh, letting us get to know you a little bit better. Um, and uh, folks, thank you for hanging out with us uh, for our charity streams here at the on the Thread Raiders Twitch channel. Uh, we have more games. We have more videos. We have more shenanigans coming. Uh, so stick around, and uh, we will see you next time for another. Get to know a Thread Raider. Bye. <laughs>